equals three studios. Guys, I love being single, but there are some people around the office who like to be in their silly little relationship and all that nonsense. Today, we're gonna show them what the better option is. Let's get it on. Which is better, being single versus being in a relationship? I'd like to begin by saying relationships are a good idea with this small disclaimer if you've got a great partner. Shout out to Jennifer. Hopefully we don't break up and this is on the internet forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey Greg, did Jennifer tell you to say that? Did she text you and be like, hey honey, say this? And you were like, damn it. You poor thing. When you're with somebody, you got somebody that'll make dinner with you or Netflix and chill with you or like split a handle of vodka and an eighth of weed. Single is way better. I've been single for five years, so I am a professional at the single life. I'm Beyonce. I'm a single ladies, I'm a single ladies. Put your hands up. <laughs> Being in a relationship is the best because it gives you someone to cling to at night when it's cold or just because the world's a very scary place. Single people, look at me. I I'm like your ghost of Christmas future. This is what will happen to you if you do change your single ways. When I was single, I was thinner. I had more energy. I was 6'4". Have you ever been on a vacation with your significant other? It's amazing. It's like going on an adventure with your best friend and your best friend will do hand stuff with you at the top of the Eiffel Tower. When you're in a relationship, you've got a permanent sidekick. That's bullshit. You don't even need a relationship to do that. Kim Kardashian got a sidekick long before she had a relationship. It's her ass. Her ass is her sidekick. Hell, her ass is the star. Her ass is a mega star. She the sidekick. Do you know who else had a sidekick? Batman. He had Robin, who's a little boy. That is weird. When you're in a relationship, you get to wear matching sneakers. Yep, I did it. Aren't I the cutest? I mean, we. We're the cutest. We are the cutest. She gets credit, too. No, that's... that is dumb. That is just dumb. Being in a relationship is great for the security, specifically financial. Social security? Because I'm really trying to get rid of my debt. I want to wipe my name out, so give me your information. <laughs> Can you really do that, though? Who's paying these bills? I'm a feminist, like up to a point. I'm willing to shave my legs if you're paying for dinner. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. I'm not going to fight you on the glass ceiling. Where am I going to check my reflection to make sure my makeup looks good? Is your partner Paul Blart the mall cop? What kind of security is your partner giving you? Yeah, I know. They say that being in a relationship gives you security. Yeah, I'm secure in the knowledge I'm never gonna have sex again. Yes, yeah, sometimes you lose the romance. It's not that hot, lusty thing you had the first few years, but like, it's always on the table. Why are you having sex on the table? Go on the bed, like a normal person, you freak. When you're in a relationship, the sex is better because that person will be willing to live out your fantasies. Kunta Kente and Massa's wife, or Mr. and Mrs. Barack Obama. Right there, Michelle. Right there. Or a uh, schoolgirl, an age-appropriate boyfriend. The same thing is just gets boring, you know? It's like the same person, the same move. My ex-boyfriend had this like circular move that he did. And I was like, you gotta quit it with the tsunami here or cyclone or whatever. It is not good. Broke up. Obviously you have, it, the sex is better when you break up and he still did that. And I was like, Whoa. You think you're having predictable sex over time? Not this guy, new positions, new toys, new outfits. And I'm just talking for myself. I don't want to be too specific because this goes out on the internet, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Relationships do not equal constant, consistent sex. It actually equals negative to zero sex, often negative sex. That's when they put on something sexy, go out with you, and you still don't get no nookie. They give you blue balls. Hell, honestly, my balls been blue for 12 years. I sing songs like, don't that make my brown balls blue? Don't it make my brown balls blue? See, it's a good song. I could do the lead belly version, the lead belly would be hot. Brown balls, blue, bitch, you got these fuckers, blue, they blow, 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 touch them, blue. <laughs> and now, some shit to think about. According to an article in Psychology Today, single people are mentally tougher than people in relationships. Yeah, and they're also smarter and uh, more attractive and uh, have bigger penises too. It's a fact, that's science. Guys, when it comes to women, being in a relationship is like being in The Hobbit. Once this ring goes on your finger, you are basically invisible. Well, clearly you're thinking about the wrong invisibility. I think of it more as Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. You get to watch the jackasses make jackasses of themselves. Relationships are not an awesome thing. I know everybody wants to run and be in a relationship. People run to Denny's. Denny's ain't great. Hey, 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 you can say what you want to say, but don't knock Denny's. That's going too far. I live for the Grand Slam. 
being single not only allows you to focus on you, but it allows you to focus on your career. That's the great thing about being single. You can have hopes and dreams. But what good is that career if you can't celebrate it with someone? When you're in your highest high and you've got nobody because you pushed them all away to get there, you're gonna feel pretty sad. Feel pretty bad about yourself, dummy. You don't need to celebrate your success with the person you're in a relationship with. That's just some codependent bullshit, okay? Beyonce it up, be independent, get on your own, stop relying on men to share things. I don't wanna share my successes with him. It's mine, okay? Back off, you don't get to have that, Jay-Z. Let me celebrate. When you're single, you never feel trapped. Being in a relationship is like being in one of those pet adoption commercials. Your life is nothing but Sarah McLachlan songs and waiting for death. Who is this person that is controlling you? Free yourself, she can't hurt you anymore. Or him, let him go. I'm free as a bird. But I will call her after this, let her know where I'm going. Here's the thing about relationships. It's a trap. A lot of them, you get into it and you're just like, I don't know, I'm comfortable. I'm like too much of a pussy to break up. So I'm just gonna like be trapped here for a long period of my adult life. What if you actually get trapped like in 127 hours? If that fool had a wife, somebody would have gotten to him faster. Look, it's true if you in 127 hours, your significant other probably would have stopped you from cutting your arm off. Like that's that's true, but maybe he ain't want that arm. And let's be honest, he had another one. I will fuck your entire family, bitch! Oh, I can't breathe. You know what? I'ma pray for you. Float like a butterfly, sting like a single guy. You get to play the field when you're single, which is really great if you've ever been like, hey, let's just play Russian roulette with genital warts. Listen, everybody goes on about STDs being horrible. I remember when people acted like herpes was a death sentence. It's not, it's just herpes. Sure, playing the field is fun when you're young. After you're 25, playing the field is like getting a prostate exam. Nobody wants to do it, but you do it because you don't want prostate cancer. You don't want to be Kanye letting Amber Rose stick and thumbs up your butt and then telling the world about it. That's why you want to stop playing the field and find the one. So then she can play with your butt in silence. When you're in a relationship, you get past the point of having to impress a girl. So like, let's say you're not in a relationship and you're a heavy dater. You know, you, you tinder all the time like my roommate. It's a revolving door of women. Every day, he's got to take these women out to new dates, new dinners. Not this guy. I've been with my girl. We're past that point. All we got to do is order Wingstop, watch a new program on Netflix, and have sex. I mean, really, who wants to watch the same movie over and over and over again. You've already seen how it ends. Like, oh, is he gonna get murdered? Yeah, he's gonna get murdered. We've seen this movie. Switch movies. Watch two movies at the same time. It's great. Came, disliked, left. Being in a relationship is great for me personally, but also for all of my friends so that they don't have to suffer with my codependency issues. It just gives you a person to just throw all your problems onto. You know, just take them. Am I saying that being in a relationship is using another human as an emotional wastebasket? Yes, and I think that's great for all of us. I'm fine with being in a relationship as long as the relationship is like an ice cream cone. It should always be open at one end. Okay, exhibit A, why is it good to be in a great relationship? Uh, my girlfriend cooks for me all the time. All day, every day. That's how the kids are saying it. That is a huge plus. Okay, when you're not in a relationship, you know what I do? I eat at 7-Eleven. I'm basically giving myself cancer. I'm cancer free, for now. You know 7-Eleven has a pizza that they'll cook in 90 seconds? That's what I'm eating when I'm not in a relationship. When you're single, you can still do things alone. I never get to be alone anymore. That's not fair. Uh, she does leave me alone when it comes to sex. Look, that's a false point. In a healthy relationship, you have space away from your partner. So don't act like it's one way or the other. When you're single, you just have to do everything by yourself. People love to say this to women who are single for a long time. They're like, ah, you're so strong. <laughs> what a strong, independent woman. That's not a compliment. They're saying like, wow, I'm surprised you haven't just jumped off a bridge. What's happening? <laughs> you're falling apart over there. How are the cats? <laughs> ah, there must be cats. There's always cats. They always have cats. Like when you're single, you get to go out with your girlfriends, go to the club, wear a tunic. I don't know what that is, but it's a, all the rage these days. And then you end up at two in the morning at a McDonald's with your girlfriends crying because you guys all called your exes. I mean, those are great stories. I'm coming for you. No, you can't handle this. I just can't. Yeah, that's oh, right. Fine. Single for life. Now you decide. If you think being single is better, click here. If you think being in a relationship is better, click here. The results from last week's debate are down below.